Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new team of the week, week 10, which of course I did just make a video a little bit ago going over these players once they were revealed. They didn't actually do a, uh, a reveal last night, which is kind of weird they didn't, I guess... They're kind of just not going to do those a lot anymore, I guess. But we do have Jared Goff as the boss, Aaron Jones, and Wesley Woodyard. Now, in my Team League predictions, I had, I believe I had uh, Prince of Mukamura here. I had LaShawn McCoy, and I had Ezekiel Elliott. Now, the Cowboys do play on Thanksgiving, so it is possible we see a new Zeke card for Thanksgiving. But this man went off. I feel like he should have got the hero. Jared Goff literally just got a, a monster like two weeks ago so the fact that he got this upgrade as well is just kind of weird to me i didn't think he would aaron jones i know he already had an 85 overall uh full boss i believe so i kind of thought this was gonna be Lashawn mccoy i guess they wanted to give it to aaron jones and then wesley woodyard i'm not mad with that at all aaron jones did have a very very good game not taking anything away from him it's just i thought it would go to you know shady because he's a bigger name player and he really hasn't played good, like, basically all year. So he had one good week. Thought they might give it to him, but we do have Aaron Jones, Jared Goff, and Wesley Woodyard. Now, taking a look at these sets, we do have uh, Isaac Rochelle. We have Jonu Smith, Greg Stroman, Zay Jones, Dante Fowler, which he might be working with a little bit of good speed. Looks like he's actually not up in the auction block just yet. Tyler Lockett as well. Um, he's up, so let's take a look at uh, 90 speed. Eh. 89 acceleration. Kind of wish he was a little bit faster, to be honest. Tyrone Crawford as well for the Cowboys. Vance McDonald, Vince Williams, and Nick Chubb. Probably going to be a pretty expensive card. It's only 90,000 coins right now. Uh, but take a look at his stats compared to... Um, I guess I don't really have a running back to compare him to. But 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 82 agility with 86 carry, 57 catching, 73 looseness with 85 trucking. Also has 83 strength, which is pretty good. Um, let's see what his juke and spin are. 71 spin, 82 juke. <laughs> not the best stats for Nick Chubb. I mean, he's a pretty decent budget guy, but just not the best. Allen Robinson and also Matt Milano. So with that being said, we're going to open up 10 Team of the Week packs like we usually do. Let's go ahead and get right to this. Make sure you guys smack the like button on the video. Of course, I, I recommend you probably stay away from these packs. I don't really like these Team of the Week uh, fantasy packs. Or really the Team Week Week 10 packs, but got to give it a shot, see what we can do here. If we can just pull like three elites out of these 10 packs, that'd be okay. Uh, as we start off with the gold, Isaac Rochelle, or maybe it's Rochelle, I'm not exactly sure. And also Greg Stroman, what's his speed? 89 speed, that's actually not too shabby for a 79 overall card right there. But, <sighs> kind of disappointed in this Team Week. And I know I'm looking at the comment section of my last video. It seems a lot of you guys as well are definitely disappointed in this week's Team of the Week as we do get the... Oh, Dante Fowler. Okay. So 83 speed, 86 acceleration with an 84 finesse move. 81 overall. Not too bad. Also, Johnny Smith, 84 speed. Okay. So we got an 84 speed, 78 overall tight end. Keep your eyes on him if he gets some future upgrades. He give you a looking pretty freaking good. So far, two packs down, though, we did get one elite and Dante Fowler. But like I was saying, it seems like you guys are kind of disappointed with this week's Team of the Week. But keep in mind, guys, do the Thanksgiving promo that's going to be coming out very soon. So it's kind of possible we'll see some of these players maybe in the Thanksgiving promo that you guys would have expected to see in the Team of the Week. Now, uh, apparently there's supposed to be a special stream on Thursday night sometime in the afternoon. So I will have a video out on that whenever that is actually up as we get two gold, sadly. And again, Zay Jones and Johnny Smith. Zay Jones working with 86 speed. But that probably means, or it does mean, Friday is going to be the Madden Harvest promo. So if you guys haven't seen my video from earlier today, going over the Madden Harvest promo predictions, make sure you guys do, because it's probably going to be pretty exciting. Uh, I know the past couple of years really has like, not been uh amazing just because of the fact that we haven't gotten like a really good cornucopia pack which i know a lot of people like and i personally love the cornucopia packs we actually had like the big legends to get as we get another isaac 
And sadly, we get two more gold. So these packs not looking too hot. In general, Team of the Week packs, like the Fantasy packs and the Team of the Week 10 packs, not the best. I gotta say, uh, I've definitely seen some way better packs. As we had Tyrone Crawford here for the Cowboys, 75 speed, 81 XL, 84 power move. He had three tackles and a sack in that game. I didn't think he would get a Team of the Week just for a sack, but up to EA, I guess, on what they want to do. I'm hoping we do see like a Jalen Smith or a Leighton Van Der Esch, possibly even a Byron Jones in the Thanksgiving promo. Uh, probably only going to be one Cowboys player, but I'm just hoping it's one of those three. Or Amari Cooper. Not exactly sure what they're going to do with that way, but I do know the Cultivators. Probably going to be three offense and three defense like it was last year, as these Team of the Week packs are really, really bad. We get another Dante Fowler, which is okay, but final Team of the Week pack. Can we just get like a high one? <laughs> Can we please just get a high elite here? Uh, we get a low elite, probably Dante Fowler. Matt Breida. He's not this week. Really? <laughs> so we get a Matt Breida. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a goal. We might have another team of the week here. Oh, uh, we do. So we got Matt Breida and then two more team of the week gold. So sadly, not much, to be honest. I'm probably just going to go ahead and do a bunch of exchange packs with these. But if we take a look here, let's see. How many at least do we just pull? Like three, four. So we got two Dante Fowlers, a Tyron Crawford, and a Matt Breida, which how much is Breida? Breida's 7,000 coins. That is ridiculous. But I'm going to go ahead and check the auction block, and we can find out if there's actually going to maybe be the heroes up on the auction block. I kind of doubt they're up this fast. But if they're not, I will hop on over to my head and show you guys their stats. And let's see, Team of the Week, which is a weekly. I do like that they changed that with the programs. So they're kind of like filtered like that. Uh, 92 to 93. Let's see if they're up. Probably not, to be honest. Mm, yeah. So it looks like they're not going to be up. 90 to 91. Let's check on this. And okay, so it looks like he actually is going to be up. Aaron Jones going for a 700k right now, which obviously he won't go for that much. But compared to Ricky... 89 speed, 93 excel, 92 agility, 90 carry, 68 catching, 82 elusiveness, 88 truck, 80 break tackle. Aaron Jones doesn't have a power up card compared to Zeke. Compared to Saquon, I'd rather have those three to be honest. Now let's take a look at his spinning juke though. Maybe that'll change my mind a little bit on this card. Uh, looks like his stiff arm is in 93. That's pretty good. Spin only in 84, juke of a 91 though, not too shabby. Stamina in 86, which really isn't that great. Uh, route running is okay as well. That card, the card is okay. It, it's not the best card, but if you're a Packers fan, I guess this does kind of suffice your need for a new Aaron Jones. Now it doesn't look like we have the new um, Wesley Woodyard up, and it looks like he's not. So I'm gonna hop on over to my head, look up his stats, and look up Jared Goff. So you guys can see the new golf stats, 78 speed, 86 acceleration, so he does have some decent mobility, 92 throw power, 93 short, 91 medium, 86 deep, with an 81 break sack, 89 throw on the run, 93 play action, and an 81 throw under pressure. Now the throw under pressure is really not that good, but if I were you guys and you're going to get this golf, I would definitely put go deep on him to get 95 throw power and get that deep up to 89, which I believe would then put him over like all the passing thresholds. So that's pretty good there with 78 speed trait wise. Uh, clutch is no. So that does suck. Sense pressure ideal. Doesn't throw a tight spiral. Uh, forces pass is ideal and penalty is normal. So not a terrible card, but... For a Team League boss, kind of expected a little more. Now for Wesley Woodyard, though, who I expect to be honestly pretty good when it comes to stopping the run. Uh, 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 84 jump, 93 play rack, 93 awareness, 92 block shed with a 92 tackle, 94 pursuit, and a 90 hit power. Now his traits, uh, not clutch, does have a high motor, though. He is a big hitter, and he strips the ball. But he only plays the ball in the air aggressive, which I guess, or balance, which you kind of want aggressive, but I guess that kind of only matters for uh, secondary players. But when it comes to the new team league players, I guess they're okay. Wesley Woodyard, Jared Goff, and of course, Aaron Jones. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you guys check out my other videos from earlier today. And I also may have another video coming out for you guys in a little bit, maybe with some weekly rewards. So if you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time.